We are very happy having this scholarship just because of our. I want to thank Madame Maxeline very much for the initiative she has been putting on to bring these students together and we are very happy. And I want to thank Mr. Terence, Jenny Terence, for taking it up that, to support the children. It is not easy, but we just want to say thank you, Papa. We are very grateful and we have received happiness. That may God continue to bless him, continue to replenish his pockets so that he will do more and more for the children in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, a place where all future millionaires come to get inspired. If you're seeing me for the first time, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and be part of this awesome, positive YouTube family. My name is Terry Foch. I'm your humble boy from the root. And Trace Collier, and Trace Collier, and Trace Collier. Schools have resumed, school resumption. For those who didn't understand what I meant by and Trace Collier, it is the most common term that is used in Cameroon to define children going back to school. Children have gone back to school already, maybe from last week, two weeks ago. Maybe this video is even a bit late. This is a massive appeal for anybody who's out there who has already prepared their own children to school or to get to school if you have any uniform or any school material or books that your children don't need please check in with your neighbors to support them because of the mbutu spirit togetherness which is a spirit of togetherness we don't want any child to be left behind we have a massive massive community both home and abroad that need our support to enable children to go to school um, education as i rightly said is the key and is the fundamental aspect or need for any child to be able to develop and become a functional and a participating and contributing member of any society so we are appealing that you sponsor a child sponsor a child it doesn't matter if the child is your family relative or the child is a neighbor's child or the child is from a community you don't know or the child is from a charitable organization just sponsor a child sponsor a child to school if you are able to do so trust me the reward is really really appealing but i am here to appeal more for our very well-known renounced uh, charity hour okay madam please can you introduce yourself your name and how you get to know our and how you feel about our yes mom thank you my name is madam peace thank you my name is madam peace miguel's mother I came to know Awa by from Randy, who introduced Awa to me and directed me to Madame Gum Maxelen, and that is how I came to know Awa. And I've been so happy being with Awa. We have been so happy, and my Miguel has been so happy seeing his own brothers and sisters with the same color. Yeah, since we we have been with Awa, he has been a changed person. And he has been happy since he has been with our. Okay. Um. Uh. How, what do you say about the scholarship? To first of all to our. Secondly to Mr. Chini Terence, who gave the scholarship. Yeah. Thank you. And to first of all thank our, thank the president Mangu Maxelin for introducing us to this uh, uh, our group. Because if not of them, we would have been having this scholarship today. We are very happy having this scholarship just because of our. I want to thank Madame Maxeline very much for the initiative she has been putting on to bring these students together. And we are very happy. And I want to thank Mr. Terence, Jenny Terence, for taking it up to support the children. It is not easy, but just want to say thank you papa we are very grateful and we have received happiness that may god continue to bless him continue to replenish his pockets 
so that he will do more and more for the children in Jesus name Amen. Okay, uh, I see that uh, apart from this scholarship, they receive books, pens, pencil, ruler, and eraser given by other donors. What do you have to say to other donors who chip in something so that this children can have assistance for school? Yes, I just want to thank all the donors for their kind hearted, for their kind gesture, because it is not easy. Little is much when love is in it. We cannot say, let, let them don't think that they, what they are giving is little. We appreciate it because of the love behind it. So may God continue to bless them. Okay, what do you have to tell other parents who have children with albinism at home? What, do you, what message do you have for them? Yes, I just want to advise other parents with their children with albinism at home that they are keeping their children behind. Let them come out and bring their children to associate with other children, to come and join. They, they learn a lot, they benefit a lot, not just the scholarship, the books, even the, the social life. They, they learn a lot because staying at home, they become very stigma. They become very self-esteem. So when you bring them out, you, before you discover the skills that they have, the gifts that they have, they have a lot to offer. But if you don't bring them out home, you will never discover it. If you just keep them back at home, you will never discover it. Don't think that they are children that they cannot do anything. They have a lot to offer to the society. So we should try to come out with them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our is the Association for the Welfare of uh, Abino. The charity has been around for quite some time now. And through our energetic and supportive spirit, we've kept supporting and looking after children and people living with albinism so that they can have equal society like any other child and also have the opportunity to go to school and participate in our economy growth. You and I know that there's so much stigma attached to people with albinism for some reason, some people think that they are better human than others, but it's not true. We are trying to bridge the gap. And the best way to bridge the gap is to educate the child. Even if it is not a child with albinism, let's be serious. Educate any child to respect one another. Know that we are all human. We have equal rights. And more so, we must not discriminate against each other just because of our race or the color of our skin. Children living with albinism are very talented, they can be very resourceful, and they can contribute as much as any other individual in our community. I will appeal that you support our, which is, as I said, is the Association for the Welfare of Albinism. You can reach out to them through the contact numbers that I'm leaving here on the screen. And I'll also leave their website and contact details on the description. Please, if you're getting this message, share. It's not just about our. We have a lot of charities out there who are actually helping a lot of children to also get back to school and also get some education. You may be privileged, but I assure you, we have a lot of children out there who are really underprivileged and would want to have an opportunity. What opportunity are we talking about here? It is not a huge opportunity. It's just an opportunity to go to school. It was a Ketu Benis, given by the Timmy Terence family, given to Ketu Benis for the academic year. This morning, is to encourage Benny's academic uh, scholarship. So what he said is, if Benny's do well in school, he is going to continue with the scholarship. But if she doesn't do well in school, he will definitely stop and continue with another child. So I'm going to hand this money to Benny's Mother. We also appeal to our humble government, uh, our local uh, mayors, 
and any person of responsibility within our community to also fund some of these projects and or support institutions that enable and facilitate easy access for children returning to school. Because we, as you and I know, the children are the future and our leaders of tomorrow. And the best way we'll be catered for in our aging age is if we have actually so a seat by sending a child to school, educating them to understand that we all have needs, even if we are young or old. But if children don't go to school, by the time they grow up, they would feel that, of course, we neglected them. And secondly, they will not look after us. So we need to impact children with knowledge to be able to support themselves, live a meaningful life, and also be able to support us in our old age. Thank you guys for always keeping tax. Thank you for always watching. And as I said, I remain your humble boy, Terry Foch from The Root. This was just a short one to appeal for everyone to support a child, no matter who this child is, but most especially support our, the charity, um, supporting people living with albinism. Reach out to them, contact them. As I said, I've shared their uh, information in the description. Don't, don't be discouraged by anyone or maybe what someone has done to you before so that you cannot help another one. No, never give up helping anybody just because someone has discouraged you. Always help, always help if you're able to do so. Remain very positive about life and believe that not everyone is the same. The children that you are training today, you don't know which one will bury you tomorrow. So no matter what child you are helping, just help a child because we don't know who is going to bury us or support us when we are not even able to stand again on our feet. Send a child to school, send an hour child to school, support people with albinism, and please remain very inclusive because their motto is to aim at a social inclusion for anybody living with albinism to live comfortably among their peers. The Association for the Welfare of Albinism was founded by the president, Ngum Maxelin. She is a very dedicated a woman living with albinism. And she realized that her community has been left behind and there was no social inclusion. She has even gone the extra mile, not just to fight for people living with albinism, but also supporting children who are in need and also women and men out there who are living with any form of disability and also in need. Okay, what do you have to tell other children out there and their parents, children with albinism and without albinism about our? Okay, what I can say is children, children are out of, that are out of our what I can say about them is that they are really missing out because our gives a lot and um, like it helped me to do what I can do today. Now I can produce the more ODG are there as the help of our. In fact, I acted in a film and no one have ever participated in like, such activities like that. So what I can say to parents out there who have children, even if they are not abuse. I can say send your children. They can be trained. Because I myself have been trained here. And I know many things now that I didn't know at first. Thank you. Thank you very much again. Please like, share and subscribe and be part of my awesome YouTube channel. Anything you want to comment on and or maybe let us know how we can improve or if you have an organization that you want us to also support, please drop in the comment section or try to reach out to me. I will appeal to my audience out there to ensure that your organization can be supported, which is why we are all here for. We are going to conquer and let every child have education. Thank you very much again and goodbye.